hello and welcome to the new power bi tutorial video and in this video i want to show you how you can get the previous date value so you have let's say this date in the date column right and you want to get the previous date uh, let's say for example in front of fourth you want to get third in front of five you want to get four so think about this that if you have a straightforward scenario that you want to get the previous date that you can get it but also in those scenario you want to get the previous row value that means let's say the sales of 3rd of uh, january in front of 4th of january then after identifying the date you can bring the sales value using the just modifying the formula so it can help you serve a lot of scenarios where you want to get the previous row value okay so over here if uh, so this is basically the different scenarios that i create so i had the first scenario which i posted it earlier it's the second scenario so if you want to get this sheet uh, workbook where i will continue to give you the scenarios then the, the the information is present in the description also about this data set to follow it along with me where it is present let me just show you so the link of this my data set folder is present in the description here i have this data set sheet in which in the row number 19 you will find the sample superstore data set that i am using you can go ahead and download it from here uh, one more information about my 300 plus tutorial that i have posted so far on power bi their title is present here in this google sheet for which the link is also present in the description so what you can go ahead is uh, you can simply uh, search any of my previous videos, dashboard, solution, beginner friendly videos and jump onto the video using the video link present over here. That way it will be very easy experience for you rather than searching it directly in the YouTube. Okay, coming back to my scenario. All right, so over here we have this and we want to, get, want to get the previous date. So I want to select, make sure that I select the order date the orders table and I click on let's say the new measure over here because it will come under the measure. So we will say that previous order date right and we will say here we will use the function called max x. In the max x we want to uh, get the dates first of all. So we are using the filter condition right and we want to bring in only the previous date. So we want to first of all provide the table name which is the uh, in this case this particular column which has the values that means all the values it should that means if if any filter is present or anything it should not take an impact it will always have the all the values of the data set right so we have this table uh, that that is created now we want to have the expression so our expression is to get the previous value that means the current order date is less than the uh, selected value and the order date. So this expression basically makes sure that we are uh, we are basically looking up the previous value in that case by comparing it from the current value. And uh, I close this and finally what I need to provide it so i have provided the table i just need to provide the expression expression is nothing but our column name which is the order date and i close it so previous order date is uh, something which will appear in a second over here and i can go in and uh, put it here come on over here and as i put it you will see that third is here fourth is here seventh six eighth blank because in the data set itself it is blank so for it there is no transaction right now what i have done is i have enabled it to show items with the no data if i uncheck that you will see that that row will not appear uh, for which the transaction is not there and you don't want that right so seventh is here 10 9 similarly 11 and uh, it here the 12 is not present between 11 and uh, sorry 13 and 14 so in that case directly you get the 11 over here but in front of uh, in front of 13 you get the uh, 11 over here. so uh, that is something which i wanted to show you 
now once you know the date you can basically get whatever you need to get the output in terms of feather sales product name whatever it is right for your uh, operation so i hope you enjoyed it i will meet you now in the next video with a new topic